Zach, congratulations. Welcome back to the World Snooker Tour. Sum up your emotions for us right now. Pure relief. That's horrible, and I never want to do it again. I say it every time I play in this tournament, I never want to play in it again, but yeah, I'm here every two years. Ben is a really, really good young player. He's still only 17. Sort of, how did that match go for you, and what are your thoughts of him as a player? Well, I thought it was going to be hard. Everyone was telling me how well we'd been playing. But um, yeah, it was just a twitch fest. It was horrible. He missed a really like dodgy yellow at two all where I'd just given him the frame. And I, know, I just I couldn't even hold the cue out of there. And yeah, he missed it, and it was just, I crawled over the line there, but that last frame was just hideous. Just, we were both just, I had balls everywhere. It was like two old blokes playing down the club. Horrible. You've been on tour for the last two years yourself. Is that where experience comes in, perhaps? Possibly, but I don't think it was a thing there, because I was all over the place. It was just my day, I suppose, lucky. And you have bounced straight back onto the tour. What have the last few weeks been like for you since relegation initially? It was, it was tough, really. I thought I've cracked up a bit towards the end of last season. I mean, I mean, I withdrew from Turkey, didn't go to Gibraltar. I didn't really want to play the Worlds, but it had to. So I sort of surrendered my card in a way. But I, I didn't really have much of a chance anyway, but withdrawing from that event, that sort of done me, really. But, um, so I wasn't even going to win at this. But like my mum and my brother sort of convinced me to, so you've got to do it, just coming off the tour, you've got like an advantage. Obviously there's a seeding system now, isn't there? So I thought that would help. But yeah, I sort of mixed it up. The event one, I was like, I was struggling. I was only up for two days, but I felt I was here for like 10. So yeah, I had a friend drive me up Monday. I come back Wednesday, I was driving on the day. I like, know it's wrong, it's a three hour drive for me, but just to try and keep me a bit happier, you know? I always want to play snooker, but I was getting so anxious around playing snooker. It was just, it was killing me out there. That's, I, I don't know, I've been, this will be my third time on. Been in and around the tour now, like I was a top up, and I, I can't recall one match I've gone in and actually played well. I oh, know it was just here, it's getting to me, so yeah, it affects more things than that as well. I mean, yeah. I'm struggling doing this now. <laughs> How did you psychologically prepare yourself for this? Because it's, it's. I just tried to do it how you normally do, just play as much as possible. I've changed things, I've got a little club I'm going to now. So my table's at home, so I like. If you're just playing at home all day, it gets a bit boring. And it's hard to get games with people like this time of year because obviously the pros, they're on their holidays, isn't they, after the World Championships. So, yeah, I've, just, I've been playing in the club. There's two young lads up here who are playing in this event who play at the club, so I've just been playing them quite a bit. And yeah, it's just I've come here, chanced my arm, and lucky for me, I've crawled, crawled through. Does, does learning from the young guys sort of help you for games against players like Ben? Possibly, it might have been a thing. I don't know, Ben probably knew I've been on before. He probably thought, a bit wary of me and I try and tell myself that but out there I don't know if that is even, even a thing it's just it's horrible and now you're back on tour what are your sort of aims for the next season next two oh, seasons I said the same thing two years ago I want to start enjoying it more like embrace it a bit more and I thought two years ago I would I know it was like Covid it was lockdown and everything but it suited me because Milton Keynes I know it was still like an hour and a half drive but it was alright I was commuting for like, I, I did sort of enjoy it but yeah I just need to start enjoying it more if I do that I can I can play but if I do what I was doing, I ain't got a chance. Brilliant. Well, Zach, congratulations. Welcome nice back. one, mate. Thank you.